The Nairobi Metropolitan Development Minister and Kigumo Member of Parliament, Jamle Kamau, may soon have his day in court to answer to charges of hate speech. The Director of Public Prosecutions considers evidence submitted to him by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission sufficient to arraign the minister in court. I still, of course, know in my mind that I'm innocent and I think uh, at the end of the day uh, I will be proved right. That's what I believe in. Kamau, who was handed the ministerial flag by President Mwakibaki after the demise of the then Environment Minister John Mishuki, could be forced to step aside once he is charged. He is alleged to have uttered remarks at a prayer rally in Meru that the Kibunja-led commission qualified as hate speech. <laughs> I think that is a juicy one, eh? <laughs> On the, on the case, on the issue of uh, stepping aside, I think uh, the, the only thing I can say is I will, without any doubt, follow the law the way it is. If the law dictates that I do that, then I'll have no option. This, even as sources at the Cohesion Commission said the team was surprised at the DPP's move to prefer charges against the minister since no concerns had been raised over his utterances that could qualify as hate speech. To the charge of hate speech, I am not even sure at this time exactly what I'm being charged with. <laughs> The DPP also gave a nod to the prosecution of Limuru MP Peter Mwadi, the first time lawmaker is alleged to have uttered words at a prayer rally in Meru in January this year to the effect that should Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta be jailed at the International Criminal Court, then Kenya's white community would bear the consequences. Atran says the Kibunja-led commission said could trigger racial hatred and violence. <laughs> Makadara MP Gideon Bubi Sonko was, however, let off the hook by the DPP. However, a source at the Kibunja Commission expressed shock at Tobiko's decision, insisting that Sonko had made serious utterances. He is alleged to have made remarks the NCIC considered insightful against members of the Luo community. Kamau's cabinet colleague, Environment Minister Chirao Ali Mwakwere, is expected in court on Wednesday to face hate speech charges. Mwakwere last week failed in his bid to block the criminal charges in an application he had filed before the High Court. All eyes then will be on President Mike Baki to see whether he will suspend Chirao Ali Mwakwere and Jamle Kamau if they are charged with hate speech. A precedent was set in 2010 when President Mwaki Baki suspended the then Rhodes Assistant Minister Wilfred Machage when he was charged with hate speech. He was later acquitted of the charges and reinstated to the cabinet. Salim Bilu, Sunday Live.